All right, and there it is. We got the GDP intake manifold with the GDP grid heater and the air boss plate. And you see everything's nice and clean in there. Cleanliness is key when going back together with a diesel. Uh, if you notice, there's a different bolt there. They do include one long bolt, but you will need to use one from your old stock manifold. Can't find it, so it's a M8 by 1.25 by 120 millimeters. That is the length of the intake bolt for long bolts. Uh, this works fine, just went to the hardware store and picked it up. As you can see, the grid heater connects right down there. And a couple side notes on these little injector uh, crossover tubes right there. Those are torqued to 37 foot pounds. Every one of those were loose when we checked them after removing the lines. So it is always a good idea to check those, torque everything down. Um, we did start it last night just to check for leaks. There was no leaks. And we did notice that the idle actually improved. Now, whether or not it was because we cleaned everything, the lines, you know, had a little bit of rust on the end of them. Maybe there was water in the system at one time. We don't know. But you want to make sure everything's torqued down and just idle it till it's warm and make sure you have no leaks. But we're going to go ahead and start it up and see what the EGTs are and everything while we're running. Now, normally after running the truck, when we come to a stop, the EGTs would be around 325, anywhere from like 310 to 325 while idling. And then under normal driving, between 8, you know, 750 to 900, I would say, is the average range. So we'll start it up and see what we got. All right, we're in the truck. You see the grid heater turns on like normal, no check engine light. And don't mind the fuel economy, it should go up. We do idle this truck on startup and shutdown to make sure everything is good. So we'll fire it up. Starts right up. We have noticed an increase in about 100 RPM on the RPM gauge and it is a lot more steady. Before it used to bounce between like five and 650. Now it's steady at 700, right where it's supposed to be. So we'll go out and let's see Again, everything's running smooth, no issues. Don't hear no leaks. That was a cold start this morning. It's about 80 degrees out. So we're gonna let this truck warm up and then we'll head out and see what the EGTs are. Okay, as you see, we got quarter million miles there. We are warmed up on street level tune. And you see the EGTs are about 50 degrees cooler so we're gonna get on the road and see what this thing does. All right, we are warmed up here and we're gonna look over at the EGTs. And this is just gonna be part throttle cruising. And the EGTs are way lower than they normally been. I mean, we're talking the EGTs used to be seven, eight, nine hundred. It's definitely taken off quite a bit and again, this is under part throttle. Under full throttle, you know, we've seen over 1,200 on the EGTs. And it's 73 degrees out, so it's not too, too warm out. But we're going to record all throughout t t today and just note everything so we can get it in the video. But cruising EGTs is right around 500, and we're doing about 45. So it's, it's doing really well. We're up to 50 now. Never were the EGTs this low while cruising. I mean, the lowest that we've seen cruising was probably 650, 700. So this is well over 100 degrees off of the normal EGTs and they see how they're dropping down. We're doing 55 now. So we'll get around to do a full throttle pass. All right, we're gonna do a full throttle stomp on this thing and see exactly where the EGTs are gonna be. Like I said, under full throttle, we were well over 1200, sometimes into 13, 1400, and the fuel limiter would kick on. 
So it's about 80 degrees now, 79 outside. So we're gonna go ahead and hit it real quick. Slow down a little bit. And here we go. That's full throttle to 70. And we didn't even break a thousand. So EGTs are definitely down a few hundred. I mean, absolutely amazing. No, no regrets with putting this on at all. Throttle response is crisp. No hesitation anymore in the idling. The RPMs have smoothed out. And like I said, maybe it's because we cleaned out all the injector lines. There was some debris in them and stuff like that. And we made sure that we vacuumed everything out. But this, that was with the AC on and everything. And you see how low the EGT stayed, under a thousand, and that was full stomp. So yeah, we're gonna monitor it all day and keep adding video in. All right, we are parked back from that run. And like I said, the truck usually ran at about 320, between 300 and 325 on the pyro when letting it cool down the idle down. So we'll see if it gets lower than 300. It's always good to let your turbocharger spool down and kind of let the oil cool it off so it doesn't cake up. Or I believe it's called coking the oil where it burns the bearings in there. If you want your turbocharger to last any bit of time, that's probably what you should do. All right, so we're getting down to that idle down range at 325. See if it'll go any lower. As you see, the peak we seen was 935 on the pyro, and that was full stomp. All right, we're dipping down to that 300 area. If we get under 300, then we know it's doing good. wants to hover around there but all in all it is doing well oh there it goes we'll see if it breaks into the high 200s there it is it, as you can see the average and the max so it's never idled this cool before it always hovered around 300 to 325 so we're dipping into the high 200s see if we can get it to stay out of 300 So yeah, it's definitely running cooler at idle. As you can see, we're dipping into the 290, 280 area. So it's staying away from 300. Definitely cooler. It's running definitely cooler under max throttle. Like we said, we've seen 12 to 1300 on the EGTs full stomp. So overall, this has definitely, definitely helped the engine. And like I said, we'll come back throughout the day and check out our average and peaks throughout driving and our MPG. See if it goes up from 12.6, which I assume it will. All right, we drove for a little bit, and as you can see, it is 90 degrees out there. It's pretty hot. We've been idling a while. We were at 13 average. Like I said, this is the Lyo meter, so I don't believe it until we reset it after everything. But as you can see, sitting here in 90 degree idling, we're at 270, 260, which is great. And we only had a peak of about, get that dirt off there for you of 792 normally we'd be up in the 900 range so 
definitely decrease the EGTs and we'll keep looking at it as we drive. The transmission shifts smoother, everything. The truck just overall feels good. All right, we got the cruise control set. We are at 70 miles an hour on the highway. And as you can see here, oh, we're going up a hill now, but the EGTs are in the, they're in the mid 600s. And like I said, we're going uphill now. So once we level out, you'll see the EGTs go back down. Normally we'd be around 900 to 1,000 right now because it is 95 degrees out if you can see that. 95 degrees out there, it is hot. So there we are shooting back down into the 500 range. So yeah, this thing is definitely phenomenal as far as keeping EGTs down. We've never run this, this low of EGTs at this speed on the highway. All right, so we just fueled up and we're getting about 18 miles to the gallon now and that'll level off. It's 91 degrees out, still very hot. And as you can see, we had a max on this run of 721 and we're dipping below the 300 mark again. So overall, yes, this setup here has lowered the EGTs. The boost feels better. The truck feels better. Everything just feels better about it. So definitely recommend doing a grid heater delete. Uh, just depending on what state you're in or what part of the world you're in, if it gets a little cold, like below freezing, you might want to go with the um, inline grid heater option or something else or keep your truck plugged in overnight in, in cold weather. But overall, this does help and make the truck breathe better. The proof is in the numbers right here. And we hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.